going to talk about how to survive the electric event in Tin Can. It's probably at this stage the most difficult event in the game just because it has the potential to fry every single system in your escape pod. But it is completely survivable and basically what you want to make sure is you want to protect every system from being struck by lightning and then you want to get three systems back online. The only three essential systems which is the oxygen generator, the carbon dioxide system and also the temperature manager. So uh, let's just start with some of the basics. So effectively, for a system to be vulnerable, two conditions need to be met at the same time. It needs to be plugged in with the power connector and it needs to be switched on, which basically means that if you either switch it off or you remove the power connector, it is protected from this event. Now, of course, you can't take out the power connectors without switching it off first. And uh, just to make sure that you basically protect every single system, the first thing you're going to want to do is to switch off all the systems in the ship. But before you even get there, before you even get this event, you want to make sure that you don't have too many systems switched on. So in my original tips and tricks video, I spoke about how certain systems, you just don't need to have them switched on most of the time. So a couple of them, just the pressure generator, first of all, you hardly ever need to have this switched on. So I'm going to switch this off. Uh, the repair station, you should only have it switched on when you're using it. Main lights, you never really need this because you have backup lights. And then the battery charger again, only switch it on if you need it, otherwise you will probably forget to switch it off. And uh, main computer you can keep on. So this is probably where you're going to be most of the time. And then as soon as you get that notification, what you're going to do is you're just going to quickly run around the ship and switch off every single system that is still switched on. Uh, going through all of these and this can open both of these at the same time, save you some time, switch off the power and then uh, I didn't actually open this. The last one you want to switch off is the gravity generator. And the reason is that if you do this first, you'll struggle to get all of the rest of the system switched off. Okay, so now I can actually go in and I can start this event. Of course, uh, you know, when it happens for real, you won't know that it's coming, but you'll have a little bit of a heads up. And what you need to do now is get the critical systems back online. So in order to do this, so you're going to go over here and first you want to make sure that you just disconnect them so that it doesn't cause issues for you. I'm also going to take out the buzzer just so that I don't have to talk over it, but obviously you're not going to do that if you're playing the game and then you can switch it back on and you can do the same with the rest of the system. So again, I'm taking out the buzzer. You don't need to do that. And We'll get to the final one, which is around this way. So you'll see for this, all the way at the back there, you have the power connector, get that out and switch this back on. And there you go. Now you can basically just uh, head on over to what I usually do is during events, is I just look at this output panel and just keep monitoring things to make sure that it's OK. But essentially, now you can just wait out the storm. And when the storm's finished, you just switch the power back on and you uh, put the power connectors back into these three systems that you've taken out and you can switch on any other systems that you need to use at that point. So thanks for watching. Do like if you like this video and uh, if you want to see other videos on Tim Can, please do subscribe.